all for coming. I'm really happy to be here. My name is Ken Kanai. I work for Mozilla. And today I'll be talking about our next generation uh, Firefox browser, Firefox 3.1. So, um, first let me ask, how many of you uh, are using Firefox? We all. Okay, <laughs> keep, keep your hands up, I'll take a photo. Thank you. Um, so, the first exciting news is that uh, we will be launching Firefox 3 in time very, very soon. So, uh, uh, right now we are shipping 3.01 for Firefox 3. And in 3.02, the next version, we should have a high version of some beta. So please uh, try it and test it. You're probably using the English version today, is that correct? Okay. So I know many of you prefer the English version, but for all the people who will be using the Thai version, we need more help to beta test and check the translation. Um, so if you're using Mozilla, you probably, if you're using Firefox, you probably know a lot, maybe a little bit about Mozilla. But I'll talk about Mozilla very quickly. We are a non-profit organization based in America, in California. Uh, we have about 150 people worldwide. We have uh, uh, our major office in California, uh, in Mozilla Europe, and in Mozilla Japan. Also, China. Um, we are an open source project, so our, obviously Firefox is free, and anybody can use the product. Anybody can uh, take the source code, and, and uh, many thousands of people uh, help us every night by testing our nightly builds, and many more people help with Q and A. And then we have many, many people at our spreadfirefox.com website who are helping us uh, with marketing and promotion. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Uh, Firefox 3 was shipped in over 48 languages on the first day. Did, did any of you download it on the download day? Did you? Thank you. So on that day, in 24 hours, we had over 8 million downloads. Guinness Book World Record for uh, number of software downloaded one day. Um, I think when IE7 was launched, it was launched in only one language, English. So it's the power of open source that allows us to ship Firefox on the first day in almost 50 languages. Uh, and in the next version, 3.02, we'll be launching another nine languages, including Python. So, uh, one of the things that we've tried to do is to make Firefox much faster than Firefox 3. So uh, this is a, a, one of the JavaScript tests called Sun Spider from Apple Computer. So this is IE7, Firefox 2, Firefox 3. We're trying to make it much faster in JavaScript. In, uh, this is a Gmail message load time test. Again, Firefox 3 is much faster uh, than, than even our own older browser. So please, if you haven't tried it, please give it a try. Um, the other thing is that we've added um, more security features. On the left, you can see we have a new website ID, this guy here. And depending on the type of website you go to, uh, he will come up and show you information about the website. So this is an EV SSL website. So Firefox 3 now supports what's called extended validation SSL. On the right hand side, you're seeing uh, malware filter. This is also new for Firefox 3. Malware is a type of uh, attack, computer attack, where just by going to the website, the website starts trying to download some bad virus or executable onto your website. So in fact, malware is even more dangerous than phishing. And we 
we are working with a nonprofit called uh, StopBadware.org to provide uh, blackness for malware. Uh, if you're using Firefox 3, you probably know one of the main big changes in the interface is actually the URL bar. So the URL bar now uses your history and helps you find the pages that you went to already even faster. Uh, and so you have to kind of try it, but basically it uses the frequency and recency, the number of times you've been to the website and how recently you went to the website to show the uh, sites that you've been to very quickly. Uh, the next version of Firefox, uh, each version of Firefox is named after a national park. So Firefox 2, the code name was uh, Bon Echo, it's a park in Canada. Uh, Firefox 3 was uh, named after uh, Grand Paradiso, which is a national park in Italy. So this time we chose a national park in Asia. Uh, this time it's a national park in Japan called Shiedo. Um, Firefox 3.1, we're, we're now trying to put out new versions faster than once a year because the competition is also moving. Maybe you saw that IE8 put out a new beta, and of course uh, Safari is all, always uh, making a faster browser. So we're trying to be faster ourselves. Uh, we want more support for HTML5, uh, much faster JavaScript support, which I'll talk about more. CSS, uh, this one's very important for us, native audio and video. So in Firefox 3.1, you'll be able to use an open source codec, audio and video, put in a file, and no plugin, it'll run in Firefox. So uh, for us, this is very important. Open standards, open web, no plugin, and you can get rich audio and video capabilities inside Firefox. Uh, and then for people who want to do more things with graphics, uh, we're also uh, putting more effort into our support for campus. I have a question. What, what format is the audio video going to be in? It'll be in uh, OGG, uh, Fiora, and Autoforbis. So Firefox 3.1 will have our new, newest engine, which will be the Gecko 1.9.1 engine. It's currently in development right now. We'll be able to support uh, downloadable fonts. Uh, so that's a, a big win for web developers. Uh, we're adding support for cross-site um, XML HTTP requests, which in a, in a safe manner, which is a very important uh, functionality for, for you know, web developers. We're making the, what we call the awesome bar, that URL bar, more efficient. We're thinking about adding a new tab interface for uh, basically a new user interface for tabs. Cool, cool. Because today we're using so many tabs that it's important to be able to have different ways to access all of our tabs. And at the end of our schedule will be provided by the end of the tab. So probably the biggest news that we have recently about Firefox 3.1 we're adding a new JavaScript engine. It's called Trace Monkey. Uh, today, JavaScript is one of the most important parts of all the new, newest Web 2.0 sites. So, Gmail, Google, Maps, you know, Yahoo, uh, newer Yahoo Mail. All of these new websites, they use a lot of JavaScript uh, to make basically websites into web applications. And so providing a fast JavaScript engine is very, very important for us. So what we want to do is try and make web JavaScript, JavaScript on the web, as fast as compiled code in a native application. It's a big uh, attempt, a big goal, but we hope to try and do that. We're using a new technology, uh, not, maybe not a new technology, but a new technology for us called uh, tracing why we're calling it Trace Monkey. And the, we just recently added it to our Gecko engine. And right now we're seeing sometimes uh, an average of 10x speed improvements in some tests. And 
sometimes almost 40x improvements in some tests. Uh, and we haven't done any optimization or bug fixing or anything like that, so it's, it's going to get much faster. So this is a test looking at uh, Firefox 3, the current Firefox 3, and then TraceMonkey, which is our new engine. And you're seeing, depending on the test, sometimes two times faster, sometimes 20 times faster, sometimes six times faster, uh, depending on the various tests, uh, different JavaScript tests. This is a different chart where the longer is better. And you're seeing here, these are different, again, different JavaScript tests. Uh, you're seeing 20 times or even almost 40 times faster than JavaScript. So this will really make uh, basically Firefox uh, very, very fast for next generation uh, web applications. This, these are tests from Apple Computer's SunSpider JavaScript test. This is not a Mozilla test, this is an Apple test. And uh, again, we're seeing sometimes 30 times faster, and then depending on the test, sort of same as same speed as now. But again, we're, we've got a lot more work to do, a lot of optimizations, uh, a lot of testing. But we hope to make Firefox 3.1 much, much faster in JavaScript. And this is, I think, a very important uh, topic for anyone who's building a next generation web application, web 2.0 application, anyone who's using a lot of job, uh, Ajax, basically. So we will be supporting TraceMonkey on x86, x86-64, and ARM. So even on mobile, uh, JavaScript will work, which is very important. And a faster JavaScript engine will make things much better even for things other than web uh, pages. So even things like video support or HTML5 or Canvas benefits from a faster JavaScript. And we're working with a professor at UC Irvine uh, and who's helping us with uh, basically integrating his, his uh, technologies into Firefox. Um, so yeah, so you can download this now and try it now in the Nike build. It's still very early. We still need many more months to refine it. Uh, but if you, uh, you can try it now. <laughs> um, yeah, so well, thank you very much for using Firefox. Uh, again, we'll be releasing uh, Firefox in I very soon. Uh, please try it out. Tell your friends. Uh, you know, maybe they don't want to use an English UI for hybrid. Um, hopefully, we'll be launching some more websites in Thailand. Uh, there's already two very popular sites: Firefox Thai and Kapat. Kapat. Uh, two very popular sites in Thailand for news about Firefox. So you can check those out. And all of this information uh, is online and available. Uh, and then I'll put my presentation on my blog uh, later on, I think on Sunday, so you can download it there.